today on Nico's Kitchen. Packed full of flavour, so delicious and easy to make. We're making my banana bread. So for our banana bread, firstly, just into a large bowl, I'm going to be adding in some brown sugar. To that, I'm going to be adding in some melted butter. Now we're going to give this a good whisk around. Next, we're going to be adding in our egg. And again, just incorporate that egg through. Now, here comes the real flavour. First of all, I've got some vanilla extract, so just pour some of that in. I've also got some cinnamon as well. And of course, our banana. Now, I've mashed up these bananas. Now, make sure, make sure the bananas are nice and ripe, because that you're going to be getting the great sweetness and great flavour from them. And also just a little bit of milk as well. And just give this a good mix around, get it all combined really well. So for our flour, we've got some self-raising flour. Now if you can't get hold of self-raising flour, just use normal flour with about half a teaspoon of baking powder added. And we'll just give this a good mix around, get that flour combined into the wet mix. Now the real secret behind this banana bread for me is the next ingredient. I'm going to be putting in some sultanas or raisins you can add in and they're just great bursts of sweetness because they start to go a little bit jammy in the oven and they start to cook down. They, they still keep their shape but they just get nice bursts of sweetness and just mix those through again. And that is our banana bread mixture done. It smells incredible. Place the batter into a lined loaf tin. Smooth out and place into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 40 to 45 minutes. Slice and serve warm or at room temperature. And now all we have to do is get stuck into this bad boy. I probably make this once a week or once every two weeks and what we do with it we just slice it up in the morning I'll put it in one of those toasters you know the sandwich press and uh, we just put a little bit of butter over the top and it's just extraordinary toasted as well and I put this up on Instagram and heap of you said you've got to make this and do a video on it so here it is so please give this one a try the flavors through here are great and like I said those sultanas in there are just so jammy and juicy and just melt in your mouth and just give it some nice sweetness too. So this is a favorite of mine. It's a classic Nico recipe. Please give it a try.